Do it again. Do it again. Hey, I'm Steve Guttenberg, and I'm and I'm here with David Chesky from Chesky Records and HD Streams, HD Music Streams, and HD Tracks. Or we shouldn't do the music stream. You can do the music stream. Okay. The time so you talk about all three. But so what's it like making records? It's kind of tiring because you have to be focused all day as the producer listening to the sound and then listening to the musicians mistakes and taking care of the whole thing you have a few crews mm -hmm. and it's sort of like flying an airplane you have to be focused the entire time so at the end of the day you're kind of exhausted mm -hmm. and then you get up the next day and you have to do it again it's actually more exhausting than playing because if you play a concert like if i go with my band somewhere mm -hmm. we just can rest all day and then we just have to play it 90 minutes at night and that's it and when we're done mm -hmm. we can just go rest or do something else mm -hmm. so this is kind Kind of, you know, it's like digging a ditch. It's fatiguing mentally and physically. Wow. Yeah. And then you're also a shrink. A shrink? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's position. another thing. You have to be really political because uh, you can't throw anybody at a recording session. No matter how upset you are with somebody, mm -hmm. you have to eat it because if you uh, admonish somebody or yell at them or firm with them, mm -hmm. then the whole vibe of the session goes. Right. So anything that's wrong, it's my fault, and I just say, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You're, you're amazing, great, you know, because you have to keep the psychology of the session positive at all times, no matter what. I like that. Remember when they do in the uh, the singer, the male singer in, in RCA, Kenny Rankin. Kenny Rankin. Yeah. And he was like really tired and he said, ah, let's, let's just end it today. Let's, let's cut, cut out early and I'll figure, I'll do the whole rest of the record tomorrow. Do you remember that story? No. No? <laughs> I'll tell the story. So you were like freaking out because you knew that he couldn't do all the record the next day. Right, right. And you remember that there was a, like there was a cot, this was at RCA Studios right. and everything. And you said, Kenny, just uh, go, go down the hall, take a nap for a half hour, see how you feel. And Kenny came back and he was ready to do the whole rest of the record. I think that was a great example of what a producer does in that situation where you can't say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Make the record. No, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. As a matter of fact, yesterday I spent the entire day tuning someone's guitar. <laughs> I mean, I won't mention the band, but, you know, doing things like that. So, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things you have to do. So know? even though you're the boss, I'm low boss and I'm low random totem. But remember this, it's my record company, but it's not my record. Uh -huh. Okay, and you have to want to you have to get the best out of people. The idea is you have someone on that stage, how do you get them so psyched up that they give you a great performance that you can capture? Right. If you get them upset, I don't care how much money you're worth or they're worth, you're just throwing your money out a window. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's kinda like that. I guess it's the same as a movie director. Right. You don't want to upset the actor or then your hundred million dollar blockbuster is gone. Right. right. You know? So I, we, we always want to keep the sessions happy, chilled, very light. We tell a lot of jokes because it's very stressful That's right. as it is. Right. So you want to break the stress as much as you can. Yeah, you're always <clears throat> putting them at ease. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. The worst thing to do is say, hey, this was wrong. You did something wrong. Let's do it again. And please not to do it. Try to mess up this time. You can't do that. We always say, hey, our tape recorder broke, this broke, and that. Because usually they'll nail it the next time. Alright. Anything else? The uh, mysteries of making 45 records? That's kind of the mysteries. We're very excited because we have some new microphones and new things like that, but we're always trying to make it better. It's kind of a challenge, you know, to really get the sound better and better and better and better. That's it. I don't want to do the same recording twice. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, David. Hey, thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> hey, this is Steve Gutenberg, the Audio Feeliac, with David Chesky. Signing off Signing from off. Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Yes, in the recording studio, a giant church. Show them the size of this place. All right, all right. This is just their control room. Yeah, this is the control room.